Hello and welcome to today's lesson on electromagnetism, which is part of the magnetism and electromagnetism topic in GCSE Combined Science Physics. So in today's lesson, we're going to describe what the principle of electromagnetism is. So if we've been successful and learned in today's lesson, we should be able to describe what electromagnetism is, understand how electric properties can change the magnetic properties of a material, and finally understand how to draw the electromagnetic field of a solenoid, which links to to the following part of the GCSE Combined Science Specification 6.7.2.1 Electromagnetism. Now when you have a wire with an electrical current passing through it, the wire will also produce a magnetic field. It has become a magnet. Now this effect is known as the principle of electromagnetism. So what this means is that every electrical wire is also a magnet. So a material which becomes a magnet when a current passes through it is called an electromagnet. Now the movement movement of the electrons in a current aligns them all in the same direction and this means the domains in the material are all aligned together, the electrons are all in the same direction, so as a result this then produces a magnetic field around the material. So therefore the electrical current alignment together is the same idea as the domains in a material aligning in the same direction. So it's impossible to have an electrical current in a material without it also producing seem a magnetic field. So whenever you get an electrical current flowing through a material, you will also have the material producing a magnetic field. So the magnetic field and the electrical field are the same principle, except they're at right angles to each other. So the magnetic field will form around the wire. So this is an important idea because the fact that magnetic fields and electrical currents are at right angles, it means it can be difficult to draw on a 2D shape. You've always got to show it. Now once the wire it becomes an electromagnet, it'll actually produce a magnetic field similar to a bar magnet. So this means that an electromagnet has its strongest magnetic field at the poles because that's where the field lines are closest together. So it also means that the strength of the electromagnet decreases with distance from the magnet. We know this because as you get further away from it, the field lines spread apart from each other. But the strength of an electromagnet will also depend on the current through the wire as that makes the actual material an electromagnet. So when a current flows through a conducting wire, a magnetic field is produced around the wire. The strength of the magnetic field depends on the current through the wire and it also depends on the distance from the wire. Now the magnetic field and the electrical current will always act at right angles to each other. Now this leads us to the principle of electromagnetism. Now there are four key principles of electromagnetism. Number one, when an electrical current flows in a wire, a magnetic field is formed around a wire. Number two, the stronger the current, the stronger the magnetic field will be. Number three, when a current stops flowing, there's no magnetic field. And number four, when the direction of current is reversed, the magnetic poles reverse. So north and south reverse position. Now these four basic principles allow us to explain any idea linked to electromagnetism. Now we can draw electrons magnetic fields, the electrical field and the magnetic field on a current carrying wire, and then the electrical field and the magnetic field are at right angles to each other. This therefore means that the magnetic field around a current carrying wire is found in concentric circles. So a magnetic field will always form as concentric circles around a current carrying wire. So imagine our current carrying wire is coming out of the board, okay, and as a result you will get magnetic fields forming the circles around that wire. So there are our magnetic field lines. Now the closer the magnetic field lines are to each other, the stronger the magnetic field. Now this would happen if the current through the wire was increased to a higher value. Now we can also use a rule to determine the direction of the magnetic field lines from a current carrying wire, the direction in which the arrow must go in. Now the rule to teach this is the right hand rule. Now in, when an electrical current passes through a straight wire, your thumb of your right hand should point in the direction of current from positive to negative and the fingers of your right hand point in the direction of the magnetic field from north to south. So if you get your right hand and align your thumb 
thumb with the direction of current flow, your fingers tell you in which direction the magnetic field is acting in. It also means that if you reverse the direction of current, like we said earlier, you will reverse the magnetic field so that the north and south pole will change position, which will be important when we look at effects of alternating current later in the course. Now, changing the shape of the wire can change the shape of the magnetic field produced, but you can observe this effect by using iron filings. So if you turn on a current carrying wire and you sprinkle iron filings around it, because iron filings are a magnetic material, they will form around the wire and they will be they will be form field lines produced in a perpendicular direction to the electrical current. Now there is our rule to work out the direction of the of the field lines of a current carrying wire. Now please be careful that as well as there being a right hand rule in electromagnetism, there is also a left hand rule which we'll cover later in the course. Now we have considered previously the magnetic field of a single straight piece of wire. Now this wire, if an electrical current was placed through it, would produce a magnetic field Field, but it's very weak and it's difficult to measure, which is why it's very rare to observe the magnetic effects of an electrical wire. So what we do is we change the shape of the wire to actually make it a better magnet. And what we do is we turn a wire into a solenoid. Now a simple solenoid is a piece of wire which has been coiled into this particular shape. So a solenoid has the purpose of generating a controlled magnetic field. It is a simple electromagnet. And here's a picture of what a solenoid solenoid might look like. Now the coiling effect makes the magnetic field inside the solenoid much stronger than if the wire was straight because this coiling effect has pushed the magnetic field lines together and how close the field lines are together tells you how strong the magnetic field is. Now inside the solenoid the magnetic field is strong and uniform so it means the magnetic field lines are close together and they're parallel straight lines and the greater the number of coils without touching the larger the magnetic field of the solenoid. Now the wires of the solenoid have to be insulated, covered in plastic, to prevent a short circuit. So the plastic coating acts as a layer of insulation. Now you can increase the magnetic field even more by adding an iron core to your solenoid. So therefore, this increases the magnetic field strength because the current through the coil magnetizes the iron and the field of the magnetized iron adds to the field produced by the wire. Now when you have a solenoid, which is the coil wire with an iron core we refer to this as an electromagnet and when you look at the magnetic field of a solenoid it would look very similar to this so outside of the solenoid the magnetic field pattern is similar to that of the bar magnet but inside the solenoid the field lines follow a strong and uniform pattern close li uh, straight lines close together now if you place an iron core inside the solenoid it increases the strength of the magnetic field even further so a solenoid is a long coil of insulated wire. Shaping a wire to form a solenoid increases the strength of the magnetic field created by a current through the wire as the field lines are closer together. The magnetic field inside a solenoid is strong and uniform. The magnetic field around a solenoid has a similar shape to that of a bar magnet. Adding an iron core increases the strength of the magnetic field of a solenoid as the iron core becomes an induced magnet when next to the wire. An electromagnet is a solenoid with an iron core. So there are are three factors that affect the strength of an electromagnet. How many coils you've got in your solenoid, the size of the current through the wire, and the core you place inside that particular electromagnet. Now what you can do is you can examine the magnetic field of a solenoid and draw the magnetic field of a solenoid using a compass and iron filings. So you would need a solenoid, a compass, a pencil and iron filings. So you would get electrical wire from the practical kit. You would then ensure that you measure out 1.60 meters of electrical wire using a ruler. You would cut the wire at 1.60 meters and then you would strip the ends of the wire so the wire is exposed at the end to allow the electrical current to flow through the wire, which you can do by using a wire stripper. You would then retrieve an iron bar from your practical kit and you then loop the wire around the iron core so you've got your solenoid around your iron core. So you would aim to have about 30 loops on your iron core. Then when complete, ensure the loops are spread out but not touching each other and then as a result coiling the wire turns it into a solenoid placing the wire around a core turns it into an electromagnet you would then place the electromagnet on the center of a sheet of paper and you'd attach crocodile clips to the ends of the electromagnet you would then 
attach this to a power pack and set it to 5 volts and once you turn on your power pack you would then have your electromagnet when your wire is tightly connected in the circuit. Now be aware that over time an electromagnet will get hot due to energy dissipated due to resistance. So when you're not doing a practical with an electromagnet you should always turn it off because the electromagnet can buzz and give off a heating type of smell which is normal. So what you would do is you trace around the outline of a solenoid with a pencil. You would then retrieve a compass. Now a compass contains a bar magnet inside of it. So using the compass, you would work out the north pole of the solenoid. You would then denote the north pole on your practical sheet. And then what you would do is you'd place a marker next to that north pole, place the compass on the center of that marking point, then place a further marking point where the south pole of the compass then points, move the compass over to that marking point, Point, repeat this process until you can draw a magnetic field line and once you can draw a magnetic field line in you would then draw it with a sharp pencil and then as a result you can then draw in the direction of the field line with an arrow and then with this idea you can draw your magnetic field of a solenoid now you can also test this with iron filings so what you would do is you place your solenoid underneath your outline that you've drawn on your piece of paper as such like this you would then get iron filings which are very small pieces of magnetic materials which will follow the magnetic field pattern of a magnet. You would then gently sprinkle your iron filings over your outline of your solenoid and then if it is being drawn correctly, the iron filings will follow the field lines you've drawn out with your compass as shown. Now be careful when you do this investigation not to place any iron filings on the magnet as the iron filings are very difficult to remove from the magnet as they're very small and they're a magnetic material so they're always attracted to to the iron magnet. Now, when a current flows through a conducting wire, a magnetic field is produced around the wire. The strength of the magnetic field depends on the current through the wire and the distance from the wire. Shaping a wire to form a solenoid increases the strength of the magnetic field created by a current through the wire. The magnetic field inside a solenoid is strong and uniform. The magnetic field around a solenoid has a similar shape to that of a bar magnet. Adding an iron core increases the strength of the magnetic field of a solenoid. An electromagnet is a solenoid with an iron core. You should be able to demonstrate how the magnetic effect of current can be demonstrated. Draw the magnetic field pattern for a straight wire carrying a current and for a solenoid and explain how a solenoid arrangement can increase the magnetic effect of the current. So if we've been successful and learnt in today's lesson, we should be able to describe what electromagnetism is, understand how electrical properties can change the magnetic properties of a material and draw the electromagnetic field of a solenoid. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on electromagnetism, which is part of the magnetism and electromagnetism topic in GCSE Combined Science Physics. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.